Well, um, any questions? Oh, but, yeah, any questions? Uh, it can be really from anywhere. I guess, um, you know, if, uh, as we are talking about these topics, if uh, uh, you are reminded of something that you felt lost on when you, uh, when we first covered it, now it's time to try to go over it again, see if the second time it's any better. Um, I, I will tell you this much. So in terms of agile studying, um, in terms of what I can help, and how I can help. Uh, if you have a very specific question, as in you're struggling on a particular homework question, then that's something I can help you with by um, email. Um, so, I mean, doesn't mean, you know, if you have questions, ask now. But what this face-to-face -face time is really good for is when you have a, not really a specific question, just a general sense that you are lost. Um, because this is where, uh, with a level of interactivity, that we can nail down um, what's confusing and sort of focus on, um, so get to uh, what will actually help you. Um, so, you know, I expect, I hope, many of you are planning on putting in a fair amount of time between now and the Tuesday to study. And as you're studying, if some question comes up, um, then some specific question comes up, you should email me, um, and I can try to answer by email. Um, on the other hand, if you are just uh, generally lost, that's where you really need to um, be able to ask a question in real time. And I'll be holding my off hour on Friday as usual, and um, I will probably hold some additional off hour on Monday that I will schedule and announce. Um, I don't know Sam's plans. I don't know if uh, he might be too busy during the finals week, but I'm not sure. Um, Gauge did tell me that uh, he won't be able to hold online uh, time this Friday, and I guess not Monday either. I might hold something online, we'll see. Um, so, oh, so one thing, as you are studying, you should, um, so it, this is especially for those of you who haven't been turning in homework at all. Uh, doing homework is a study, I mean, uh, so, so that is one way you can study that'll actually literally help your grade just to overnight because if you didn't turn in any homework, then you missed the 10% for no reason at all. You simply just threw away the 10% of your grade. But if you go back and do the homework and you know, turn it in, I think you know by now that I don't grade the homework thoroughly. I just check for completion and all the questions are there. And I guess nothing actually stops you from looking at the answers as you are doing the homework. That wouldn't really help you prepare for the exam. But, you know, do whatever you need to do with the homework. Um, there's absolutely zero reason for anybody to be just not turning in the homework unless you are, you know, trying to fail the class. In which case, actually, you probably should let me know because my goal is actually to pass everyone. So if you'd rather get a D and, you know, be a, preserve a chance to repeat the class, then you have to let me know. Because if there's any way I can justify passing someone, I will. I really believe people should go through class once and then move on to the next class. Taking the same class over and over doesn't really help you. People who repeat a class for a better grade never really get a B or A the second time around. So, <laughs> so uh, but you know, if you haven't been doing homework, uh, do the homework, that'll help you prepare for the exam. And turn it in, I accept late homework up until the day of final exam, so um, turn it in then, that'll actually help you with the, your grade. Um, yeah, um, any questions? Okay. I feel like, yeah, and um, if check your grade book. If I'm missing anything, let me know. I think I usually don't miss something, but I think at this class I might have missed somebody's homework grade. So, <laughs> anyways, any questions? Um, any questions on topics or mm, questions on problems?